I love Christmas and I love people. to actually experience and do what? Oh, uh, for me, favorite episode is episode Tanglewood. <laughs> <laughs> what number was that? <laughs> Four? Uh, because I got to hold, well, not only do you see amazing animals and hear some amazing stories, but I got to hold Ollie the owl. Ollie was pretty awesome. Game changer. <laughs> he was incredible. My favorite episode is probably easy one to guess, right? Oh, she twisted the question a little bit. My actual favorite episode was the one I didn't have to dance in. Uh, <laughs> but she said uh, the actual episode that you went on, yep. <laughs> my favorite episode would be Poet um, Customs. Yeah. He's, he's my one yes. and he's my son. And so yeah. it was just exciting to see it launch off and to launch off in a place that I'm really yeah. familiar with. Yeah, and mine is a tie. Haha, ha, I can do it because I made up the question. So it's episode <laughs> two because we were dancing. Uh, uh. And I love it, mm, of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then um, the other one, the Chemung River Friends, because yeah. we went kayaking and it was, was so much fun. And I hadn't done very much, and I've never done it with them before. And so it mm -hmm. was a wild adventure. So, yeah, we're ending the year. It's, uh, it's the end of 2021. We have one last episode for you today. So let's go visit this. One last more amazing, awesome gym. Last gym 2021, let's go! Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. history. This was originally started as a vegetable farm up at the other side of town, up at the foot of Mount Zora Hill. was where the original Bradley farm was. Okay. And then he, in the 50s, actually 40s, he started working the land, bought the land in the 50s, which became the farms that he was producing over 200 acres of vegetables just for the, the grocery trade in Elmira when there were so many small mom and pop stores that he was selling vegetables. But over through the 50s, when they started seeing the advent of what this new phrase called a supermarket uh, started coming along, Grand Union was the first one that actually came and started buying up the smaller stores. Well, when that happened, that was really the end of selling produce locally to a supermarket. So he had to, he morphed over into direct market sales to the, through his own farm market here, which grew up into other things from that. Mm -hmm. direct market pumpkins for ourselves here, which doesn't sound like a lot, but we pick nearly a hundred tons. That's several acres of pumpkins. How long has Bradley Farms been going? So the originals, they started the farm up there in 1920. Wow. And so we just, last year was a celebration of 100 year. We just didn't celebrate much being COVID year. Right. And at the bottom of Mount Zora Hill, I'm sure you know some of that history, there was, there was uh, what's a, a Karam's meat market. Yes. Here's a fun fact. Sis loves yes. fun facts. Fun, fun fact. 
<laughs> uh, the former Camp's Meat Market, I, I ended up purchasing and put a clothing store in there. That was you. That was me. Okay, I never made the connection. Yeah, so that was, yes. yeah. Wow, look at that. Yeah. Six that degrees of separation. <laughs>
<clears throat> that stays on. We also have a ride walk where we ride them down to a wooded area where we'll let them out and they'll walk for it's a, probably a half to three quarter mile walk through woods and a swamp. And Cold and hunted. And to get back on. You've never lost Bring it back up. Not yet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. And uh, the third third leg of it is the zombie paintball, which is really popular. Where they they ride it on these. Yeah. We have trucks and wagons that have paintball guns mounted on them, <laughs> and they ride up into an apocalyptic village. We have that there's zombies staggering around up there. It's <laughs> under special black light. We also do a daytime corn maze that each year. We select something, and this year was the Wizard of Oz, and that was really popular. Oh, That's about an eight-acre field that wow. each year will select a different theme and set this up. So next fall, again, keep in mind all of the activities they have, but now it's Christmas, Christmas time, holiday season. <laughs> What's That's going on in Bradley Farms? Yep. This is Twinkle Town. It is a Christmas light show. We went to several light shows, yeah. and the most common mistake we've seen at the shows we went to is they kept it, in some cases, they were golf courses. Oh. And so they would drive on the path where the golf carts went, which meant it was an eight foot wide no. path. So we thought, if we're gonna do this, let's get the, the lanes wide. Awesome. Wide enough that if you want to, you can pull alongside and stop and look if you want to look at some of the scenes and take your time. Mm -hmm. So in some cases, they're 50 feet wide in the roads where wow. you can just comfortably take us. If you want to look at every bulb, you take all the time you want. Oh. That's incredible. And so how long has Twinkle Town been going on? Because that's pretty, it's, it's pretty it's unique to, to the Elmira area. We're mm -hmm. happy to have it. This mm -hmm. is our third season of it. Um, we're going to be going through it. We're mm -hmm. so excited. Okay, <laughs> We've never done it. Um, give people a little sneak peek. What, how long does it go till? Until January 2nd. It Great. is every night from 5 till 10. Great. And they just come here and they'll get their tickets? They don't even have to come in the building. Oh. Uh, we have a separate driveway along the right-hand side of the parking lot. Okay. It's, it's lit so that with a big arrow there, so they just drive right down to a ticketing area okay. where there's two lanes there that people will come right out to your car, okay. do the transaction, whether it's cash, card, doesn't matter. Yeah. They'll do the transaction and move on. So now, guess what? It's giveaway time! Yeah. Yeah. So, Dan has been so generous. Amazing opportunity for two pe two winners. Two winners, okay? to um, if you share this video, this video you are watching right now, hit that share button and tag Queen City Gems in it. So, so just so we're sure that you shared it, so we can see you shared it, tag us in it. You're entered to win a car load. So that's however many can fit in that car. One, two, 11, three, 92, four, 12. <laughs> car load ride through Twinkle Town this season so that is amazing amazing gift and um when you win you'll just come right over here to bradley farms and you'll pick it up and thank you so That's much so for that offer mm -hmm. They ride together with you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so gather up your friends, get in your sleigh. Yes, <laughs> that's right. And go through Bradley Farms Twinkle Town. Yeah. It took us like 25 minutes. You could, mm -hmm. and you could spend easily 45 minutes in there easily. looking at everything. Yeah. So, yeah, we went on a you know, healthy pace. Yeah. So I'd say this is the twinkliest gem. Uh, yeah, we've been to yet. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for joining us for 2021. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year.